This morning, Norfolk Southern announced a new safety plan to enhance railroad operations. The company has also agreed to pay for temporary relocation for some residents while cleanup continues. 3 News investigator Marissa Sines has details. Tonight, Norfolk Southern is expanding its financial obligations in East Palestine. At the request of the EPA, the railroad is offering financial support for residents who live within one mile of the derailment site, temporarily paying for necessities like lodging, travel, food and clothing while cleanup continues. The EPA writing, quote, as soil work continues at Norfolk Southern's derailment site, some residents close may notice additional odors. According to the railroad, over 3 million gallons of water and over 2,300 tons of soil have been removed, with more work in the coming days. The scope of Norfolk Southern's operations narrowing after another derailment Saturday in Springfield, Ohio, led to 28 cars jumping the tracks. This was a pretty long train, uh, 212 rail cars. According to NTSB Chair Jennifer Hamandy, 28 train cars were carrying hazardous materials. Officials confirming none were impacted in this derailment. There was a leak of non-hazardous material called uh, polythene. Monday morning, Norfolk Southern released a new safety operations plan, which would enhance key strategies, including a new generation of wheel bearing detectors, the distances between them, the railroad's bearing temperature threshold, and a strong safety culture. I think it's a good first start, and so there needs to be uh, good decision making, some uh, policies and practices put in place. Uh, and uh, possibly definitely be more conservative. The EPA is pointing East Palestine residents seeking the new financial assistance to Norfolk Southern or the Family Assistance Center at, at the Abundant Life Church in New Waterford. The cleanup journey continues at the derailment site, one of the next steps being track excavation. Russ. Okay, Marissa Sainz, thank you so much. Sure.